Hi, it's Jason Reserve, and welcome to the testing video of the Eternity Mega 400 Watt version 2 Balance Charger slash Discharger. Um, this is one of those chargers that are simply awesome. I've been using it now for a few weeks, and I'm just going to do a review slash testing video of it. Um, so here it is. Obviously, this one actually does require a separate power supply. So in this case, I'm using this one. Okay, it's a 15 amps regulated power supply. Now really we do need a higher amps power supply because as you can see here this one can actually do up to 20 amps okay so basically at the moment all I can do is charge or discharge up to 15 amps because this is a 15 amp regulated power supply okay there it is um, so this one just has the banana plugs on there for this one to plug directly into okay this one also runs off of there, but obviously not at the same time. I have on the way a um, splitter from Wheelspin Models, so I can run all of these at the same time. Uh, but let's get to it first. Um, so here we go. You can see this is the main menu area. Um, just uh, go back and then first select the battery type. I'm just going to use the LiPo battery, okay, in this case. So we find LiPo. There it is, select. Now we just need to choose LiPo balance, okay, I'm going to, for demonstration purposes, use a 3S LiPo, but you can use or charge up to a 6S LiPo on here, you can see on the balance port we can charge 2S, 3S, 4S, 5S and 6S, okay. So uh, this one has Dean's connector, I have many different connectors under there for different variety of batteries, um, obviously if we're going to be charging a huge um, 14.8 volt then you're going to need to use um, the 4S port on here so LiPo charge uh, we're going to balance it so LiPo balance I'm going to charge at oops, um, 15 amps not because I'm in a hurry but just because I want to give you guys a demonstration of the turbo fan noise that it makes and it's charging um, we're charging an 11.1 volt 3S LiPo so now all I need to do is simply connect it up. Okay, we've now got this one connected up to the 3S balance port there and obviously to the Dean's connector there. And all I need to do now is simply press and hold. Now it checks the battery. The system says it's 3S, I say it's 3S, start, and then there you go. Now this is going to charge at 15 amps, okay? As I said, you can charge it more. And now here goes the fan. Let me just turn off the heater so we can hear the turbo noise. I don't know if the camera will pick this one up, but it's now charging at 15 amps. And you can see the fans have all kicked in. good charger it only takes say like eight minutes or so to fully charge my 3s uh, 2200 mAh batteries on 15 amps okay um, it's been very good I've, I've not had any problems with it okay it's been my main charger I've used I've purposely been doing like one battery at a time just so I can really test this charger out and it's done a great job okay you can also if we go here see the individual cell counts okay so this one's nearly charged. Oh, oh, there we go. That was 1 minute 23, but obviously it wasn't actually flat at all. Um, I was just using a fully charged one, just to show you. Okay, so that is that. And then you can just disconnect this one. Oops, disconnect this one. Um, and then that is done, okay? And it's very nice. It, uh, the unit stays very cool. Okay, if anything, it's the power supply that gets warmer than this one. Alright, but if you're looking for this kind of charger then you can get a power supply like this or Hobby King also do sell them. Okay, alright then, enjoy, see you later guys.